How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about SoFi. I told you guys to make sure that you look at getting into a position around the $14 range. It wasn't too long ago. I think it was like about like the week before last or something. And I told you guys I got into an option play, but I also had shares from before. In regards to the option play, I told you guys, yes, I ended up getting out early on that. But again, I'm seeing gains as far as for my overall stock. So now let's jump into the agenda. I don't want to waste any more time. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description but if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position i highly suggest you watch this full entire video so the first thing that we're going to go over is the technical analysis we want to take a look at the overall price action we want to know support we want to know resistance and a potential moves that we want to look forward to especially as this week progresses and then we're going to go on fintel taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and as well as the short interest information we know if this play continues continues to have short squeeze potential, it could have an impact on the overall stock. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution, where institutions loading up on shares today, especially since it was a choppy market, we're going to find out. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more key details. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for SoFi. Let's see how it performed on the day. So we ended up closing at $15.84, being up 4.49%. On the low, it tested $15.46, and then on the high, testing $16.13. Taking a look at the volume stats on the day, we traded at 21.348 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days being at 16.731 million shares. So we ended up having above average volume on the day, so we ended up seeing some appreciation in the overall stock price. So now, when we take a look at our chart, which is the one-year daily chart we can see from the rsi down below it is at 55.36 so yes it is in the overbought territory but of course there's still a lot more room left in this play now when we take a look at our moving averages here though we continue to have strength above the 21 day ema and you can see right here we ended up finishing right on that 50 day where it's set at 15 dollars 81 cents we close at 15 dollars 84 cents and of course we are below the 100 day so when i was bringing this play across to you and with sofi i was saying if you can catch it in the low 14 teens this is a great area to actually get into a position so now we are experiencing quite the run-up and we already know this is also a gap fill play as you can see we have this gap right here and we know when we fill in that gap what we're really looking forward to is seeing SoFi get to $17 and ended up getting to $16.13 on the day before seeing some resistance so one of the things that I'm going to look forward to is seeing us actually get past this particular area going in for the rest of this week it'd be great to see if we can get to that $17 level before Friday and if we don't end up actually getting that where I want to see some support is right here at the 21 day EMA right here at 15 bucks if we finish the week at $15 I would not be mad whatsoever because again we can have some consolidation build up some support and make that run up going in to next week so we're on Fintel we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for SoFi so as we we scroll down on the page green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions so we can see here the most recent filing being on september the 7th new bridge financial services group yes we could see it's been very consistent on other previous videos that i did today i've been seeing this institution continuously show up but if we take a look at their average share price it is at $18.14. So we have institutions who have bought in at this particular price range. As far as what we've seen previously, as far as for the activity, we see Algor Midcap 40 ETF went in with just over 14,000 shares. JNL Series Trust just went over, wow, 1.2 million shares. And also Miller Opportunity Trust Class going in with just under 2 million shares. So definitely some bullish behavior here we're seeing from institutions, but that's also good to see because I'm pretty 
your t-shirt and we're going to be able to get past that price where that institution has their average when we take a look at the short interest now scrolling down on the page of short shares availability is at 10 million updated two minutes ago and then for the short borrow fee rate it is at 0.46 percent as we scroll down further on the page we can see from the history of the short volume ratio on the close of the first it was at 38.06 the close for the second it was at 36.90 and then the close for the third which was last week friday being at 31.76 so it is in a downtrend but it still continues to have short squeeze potential and as long as there's volume coming into SoFi and there's demand for their shares, we can continue to see the stock price just steadily increase. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for SoFi. So we can see here on the inflow, it was 70.44. And then on the outflow, it was at 60.49. So we end up having an inflow day. So on the large, it was 0.77. On the medium, it was 36.81. And then on the small, it was 32. 0.86. So you can see also these numbers in the millions as well. And on the outflow side on the large, it was a lot higher. So we had 0.97. As far as on the medium, it was at 28. And on the small, it was at 31. 0.52. So we had a surplus on the medium and as well as on the small for the inflow side. And it's part of the reason why it contributes to being an inflow day. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for today, we ended up having an outflow day being at 0.21. So not that big of a difference whatsoever. It wasn't that substantial. But one thing also to be aware of, we're seeing a lot of activity on the retail side, continuing their purchase up shares. And if institutions are getting involved, they're probably going in with some medium sized orders. But one thing we can clearly see so far is definitely on the uptrend. There's a lot of interest, there's a lot of demand, there's a lot of buying, and it did very well considering how choppy the markets were. So now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some details as well. So for my final thoughts for so far, it was great to see the price action that we saw today. Like I was saying previously, I'm still holding a good amount of shares because I do believe in the long-term prospects and I'm also trading off the momentum. But another thing to be aware of, we've been speaking about this play for quite some time. We know they ended up releasing their earnings. And again, I feel like it was an overreaction. And I was saying, hey, if you're able to buy it, whether it's at the low 14s or below, you definitely consider getting into a position, doing your homework, and as well as your due diligence. So far, we are seeing a lot of momentum. And what do I want to see next from SoFi is getting to $17. I want to see us hit $17 sometime this week. I know many of you have been sending the messages saying, yo, Dre, I've been up. You've been talking about it. It's great to see you've been protecting your profits as well. And that's another thing, too, because I know many stocks, when they do pull back, even though they've ran up and we talk about it on the channel, many people are saying, hey, this stock has gone down. What the hell is going on? I'm like, why didn't you protect your profits? Because I feel if you're going to be acting in that particular way, then you shouldn't be holding the stock, waiting for it to actually double, quadruple, and so on. You got to be smart and you got to be strategic when it comes to protecting your profits. Unless you believe in the long-term prospects, then that's a completely different ball game. I, for myself, I believe in the long-term prospects, but also on top of that, I know there's also a lot of momentum in this play. And you guys know already, I like to trade off of fluctuations. So seeing, hey, we saw there was a gap fill on the chart. It needs to be filled. And on top of that, this is a play that's been known to have somewhat of a meme status. It's only a matter of time before we start seeing a move and we're actually getting it right now. So hey, I want to see $17. And then we also do know for a fact going on Fintel, from the short volume ratio, again, continues to have short squeeze potential, like I was saying previously. And if we continue to have a lot of volume coming into the stock, which we have been seeing as of late, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it continue. Another thing also to understand, there's also other factors outside of what's going down in regards to trading. We also got to take into consideration as far as the interest rates and as well as the 10 year yield. And the reason why this is important, if it continues to trend higher, as far as growth stocks are concerned, then it's definitely going to be a lot more expensive. And usually the growth stocks that have high valuations tend to end up suffering from it. But one thing that is very interesting and I've noticed a lot when the market is choppy and you're noticing there's a lot of sell-offs and there's just a lot of volatility happening, meme stocks do perform very well. And unfortunately, since SoFi is categorized in that particular area, seeing a lot of attention on social media and so forth, it's going to actually benefit from this, which is 
great for anyone that's in this for the short or the medium term, but it's just something that I wanna make sure you have a heads up and you're being aware of. And also I know if you have short term goals, protect your profits if you need to. I'm just happy to see how well SoFi is doing because I do believe in this company for the long term. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon. Thank <laughs> you.